So we're doing DB Nugget, and we're getting rid of the 180 conflict models. So remember, I'm bringing them around. And now remember that Katata Jodi is uh, a particular plane through which a force vector is traveling, and it's an equivalent to a straight punch, homolateral straight punch. Okay? So we've been doing Jodan. Well, Jodan is upper level, so solar plexus up. So this would be a straight punch, high to this. Right? Or it could be a knife, whatever. So now we have to figure out how do I get it to move over so that I can find that back corner. You might want to go, oh, it's not possible, and then you're gonna do this one, but this is even worse now, okay? So first, let's lose the uh, traditional uh, ski range. So he's way back there, right? And then he steps through with his ski like, whoa, boom, right? Because it, he goes, it's not, not teaching us anything but to sit there and wait for the strike. Okay? So we're going to move it closer. You see, we're in here. He's still got to step through because he still needs the spinal disengagement. Okay? But I'm going to meet him. Just like in the other one, I met him. I created the connection early. So when we're, when we're here like this, I create the connection early. And now the eternal yin skills come into play. Because if I push him away, right, you're not going to get it. You have to absorb him in. Okay? So he goes. He'll push on you. You'll yield. Now look where my hand is going first. So watch the technique. One, two, three. This hand goes in first. You see, and then you'll feel the pressure. Then you'll yield it. You'll pass it to the other hand. It doesn't go on the outside. So, boom, yield. Boom, yield. Harder. Make sure you come to the face. Then we attack the head. Face. Don't start so far out. So watch, we'll go slow. Watch, watch what I'm doing. So there's friction here. I'm not just letting it go. Relax, relax, relax. I'm pulling it with that friction. And I do the same thing with the other hand. So you're gonna feel like when I get here, it's, I'm kinda underneath, that's not good. So that's where the other hand picks up to continue the friction, right here. Do not mistake it for letting the punch go by. Okay? You, there is an IP connection. Because you need that extra half inch. Okay? So he comes in, boom, boom, and you're here. Start close.
So just like yesterday, you got to let go of your union on the Okay? So let's just look at the narrative. So a guy is aggressive. So I'm aggressing. Then I feel the pressure, you see? And instead of sitting here and, con and contesting, I will yield oh, to get the head. You understand? Okay. So remember that you're here, and boom, you're supposed to get the head. So we're seeing the same mistake where you're like, uh, just self-defense stuff. So he goes here, and you're like, oh, do you see? Yes. This, yes. Crap, it's stupid. So the first one does not go here. Because I'm not interested in passing his line. I'm interested in engaging. He goes, oh, that's when I do it. You see? So try to understand your testabaki is very much crude. It's a lot of oh shit. You guys have this wax on, wax off. So, boom, pushes, let it go. Engage, boom, there's the neck. That's why we're not out here. We're in here. Boom, push, push, there it is. Don't worry about me. You just go. Get your head inside so you're not lying so flat. Push. Get your head inside or I'll start tweaking it. You're, you're rolling like this. Get your head inside. Best you can. This way. Okay. You're going flat. This way. Turn it as best you can. Okay.
can basically, you're doing class, class, this, it's, you're on the yang side, well, but I need the yin side. So, engage, this is me taking the slack out of the relationship. So, usually, uke takes the slack out. Do you see that? But here, I take the slack out. Slack is out. Now I have an energetic possibility. Hold. Take the slack out. Cool. Slack out. Oh, look at my body move. Slack out. Absorb. Oh. Slack out. Oh. Okay? Get some internals going. Go. Okay. Remember, tell them to slow down so you're not so triggered. Okay, let's switch places. I want to show you. So your, your technique, your technique is like this, then you're just pushing it inside. Boom. Which way is he going? Yes, yeah, yes, look, watch. Oh, you have to right. Here? Here? Which way is this plant still going? Forward. Straight forward, right? Still forward. Okay? Watch the difference. Forward. Hold. Forward, boom, there's his head. Then this is where your knee is jacking you up. Okay? So let me use him. So I'm not going here to do this. I need him to go around me. So there has to be a gravity to me. That's the IP, that's the adhesion. So he <coughs> comes in. You see? It's right here. Here's where he's pushing on me. You see? Now, when I enter and turn, right? So I'm going to take this energy away. Do you see? So it's the exact opposite. I'm not going here, here. I load the second arm. It's right here. Then I yield on the second arm. Hold. Oh, that's what brings in there. You guys see that? Okay. So let's just slow down. Pressure out, comes in. Load the second arm. There it is, right? Then you do the footwork. Boom. You guys see that? Okay, let's try it. Slow it down just to that point. Okay. So internally, there's the yielding internally, but externally, there's the same thing. But I can't just externally yield. I always try to tell you there is an adhesion that's happening, but he can't keep coming in. You get that's that's what I'm demonstrating when I'm here like that. Okay? So he is if I push like that, he can you can see that you can punch. Oh, don't hit me in the face, but if I push on him. But if I stay in this perfect thing, there's enough friction of his key for me to, for me to do things. And I, I don't need to have superpowers. I just need that extra quarter inch, half inch of friction, you see? So you can't push into him past that. And I need that relaxation so he absorbs into me, okay? But I can't have it be where I'm here like this 
and you're like relaxed, you see, there's no structural integrity here. So internally I am relaxing, but right here I have the same thing. You see, you can push into him. So when I move around, do you see how it's doing this? So again, the same thing, if I extend it, it's fine. If I extend it, I'll hit his center. But I'm not going to extend it. I'm going to keep the friction by turning. So I load up that arm, and when I turn, look what I do. You see? So just like Katate, you, you're not relying on that turning of his arm. Because that would not protect the integrity of the radius. So you set up the other arm, you create the internal adhesion, and he's pushing on me. He's actually using me for balance, and it's when I take it away. So again, boom, roll, there it is right there. I move around it, and it falls on as I take it away. So it's a mixture of him falling on it and him having just enough friction that I keep him in it, okay? So what I'm seeing now is your, in, your internal relaxation has an external compromisation, okay? Let's go. Two more. Test yourself. Right. Take the pressure out at the beginning. Right. Reach for him. Reach. Reach. You're waiting. Engage. 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 There you go. Engage. Two more. Engage. Go. Engage. That's it. And then you got to do the same thing. You engage. You don't wait. And then 
x, y, you see? And then I go over here. So this next one, remember, katata dori is just a particular plane, the homolateral plane, and then the linear vector. So tako is the same thing, or just him pushing. You see how we're doing that? So let's not get there yet, but let's take the punch again, okay. right? Whoa, and this time, look. I'm going to yield with the inward spiral elbow. So we engage, he goes, right? There's that pressure point, I would go around it. Last time I went around it with the 10 cut. You got it? So I engage, boom, there it is, boom, yield. Boom. You'll feel it right there around it. Boom. Here we go. Push, 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 push. Do you see? Integrity, integrity, boom. And again, it's the yielding that has him coming forward. So he's not sitting there. He's not sitting here. And then I would go to him. Boom! Back break fall, center must continue forward. Same circle. You see, we're over here now. You see that? So load the arm. There it is. And then when you go over, you see? If you're out here like this, you're going to do these triangle steps. Doesn't it feel dorky? Yeah, on Suwariwaza. That's why usually you only see that in Tachiwaza. Okay? So. Boom, there it is, load it, let it come in, boom. And you already have the homolateral throw right. because you're on a circle, okay? You see? Right. Left arm, left leg forward. You don't have to make this cross lateral throw. Okay, so the, the external Thai Sabaki requirement is helping you realize, am I X, Y? Or am I starting to generate orbital geometry? Okay? Uh, four more each, then we're done.